friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. It's actually a Friday filler. A while back I did a video just letting you know how I was getting on with the Orvis Pro Waders and how they were holding up to the abuse that I put them to. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that up here and you can go have a look at it. Since then, a heap of you asked me to do one on the boots because I've had the boots actually longer than I've had the waders. Sorry it's taken this long, but sometimes I'm just a bit shit. So that's what this is about. I'm going to tell you what I think about the Orvis Pro boots. These guys. These are actually my second pair of these. I've been wearing this model of boot for 18 months, two years, I'm not too sure. Long enough to kind of have a good idea what I think of them. In short, I love them. I absolutely love them. Uh, like I said, this is my second pair now. The first pair, there's actually nothing wrong with the actual boot. It's just that I walk the sole off the other ones. Like there's no grip left on the other ones really. So that's why I'm on my second pair. What do I like about these? So, I've had some people kind of say to me that they didn't find them very comfortable straight out of the box and it took a, a bit of a long time to wear in. I can't really comment on that because I reckon these are the most comfortable boots out of the box I've ever worn. I wouldn't recommend this but I'd quite happily get a brand new pair of these straight out of the box, put them on and then go and do a really big mission. Do a big day in them and I'd do that quite confidently. I found they wore in literally straight away and that one of the things I really like about them. Now, they reckon that this Michelin sole here is like 30% more grippy than other soles out there. I don't know, whatever the numbers are. I don't know, uh, they're good. They're good in the river. As you can see, I don't, I don't wear studs. I haven't worn studs for years. And I do a lot of boulder hopping. And I think when you have studs in, when you do that boulder hopping thing, it makes it absolutely lethal. Because you hit a boulder with those studs on and it's like ice, you just poof. So, I'm just used to it without. Now, as for 30% more grippy, I don't know. They're good, they're grippy, as far as rubber soles on slippery rocks goes. They're definitely no worse than anything else I've worn. As for how much better, I don't know. Now, some people have said they have a bit of an issue with things kind of coming away, the sole coming away around the edge of the boot. My old boots did that, but like I said, at the point that they did that, there was pretty much no grip left on here, so they had had a hammering. Again, I can only tell you what I've found, and I haven't had a problem with that. As you can see, I've, I've given these a good, a good going over now, and I've got no sign of any of that coming away yet, so, you know, seems good to me. What else do I love about these? I love the look of them. I love the black. I love the lime green that goes with it. And I love, I love, I love, I love these lace things. I don't actually know what you call them. What do you call them? Lace, boot, lace, lace grips, lace guides, I don't know. But whatever, they gotta be the coolest whatever they are out there. It makes you feel like Darth Vader when you put your boots on in the morning. Again, that's a plus in my books. Uh, laces, laces are laces. As you can see, I need to probably replace these ones. The ring here for the for the kind of grip on your waders, the hook on your waders or your or your neoprene wading socks, it's pretty grunty, but to be fair, I never use that. So, you know, I normally break the hook off the, the neoprene socks or, or bend, bend it down so it doesn't work anyway. So it doesn't matter, it's all good. And the material's great, it's hard wearing. The stitching, you'll find the stitching up here is, is really high up the boot. You generally tend to have a problem if you have low stitching like down here because that's what rubs against all the boulders and the rocks in the river and that's where you get the wear and then the stitching comes undone and your boots fall apart. So on these it's really nice and high up here um, so it keeps that to a minimum. Again, I have I've got no signs of the stitching wearing and on this one too I've got no sign of the stitching wearing anywhere along there so that's good and these have done a lot of kilometers now here's another thing i like about them the ankle support is brilliant it's not too high but they're just high enough that they give your ankle really good tight support um, without being too much i think that pretty much covers it they look cool they're good and grippy they're hard wearing all in all i think they're the best boot i've worn yet i hope they never stop making them because if they do i'm going to be gutted 
Yeah, they're around that 500 buck mark, so and not that much more expensive than like your Freestones from Sims and that kind of thing. And you get a lot of boot for that. So if you're looking for a decent boot or you're in the market for another pair of boots and you want something a little bit, you know, better that's going to last you, these are definitely worth looking into. I can't rate them highly enough. As long as they keep making them, I'll keep buying them. If I missed anything out and you want to know something that I haven't covered there, just drop me a comment or private message me and I'll be happy to tell you what I think about stuff. Hope that was helpful. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, boop, hit the button, join the team. It'd be great to have you along for 2021. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you next week and we'll go for a fish. Peace.